we have a very strong proactive policy in the energy sector giving priority to renewable energy and energy efficiency. For us, renewable energy will play a role very important in the future because we are a 95% energy dependent country and we have plenty of solar, wind and also coastal resources. So we are focusing now on different projects with uh, some objective to reach from now to 2020. We will going to build 2 gigawatts of solar plant, 2 gigawatts of wind plants and also hydro. So we will have, we need to reach 42% of our electricity capacity will come from renewable in 2020. Yes, this is another point of concerning renewable energy, what's going on in the region. And it's very important for us that what we talk about big projects like Desertec, like uh, Plan Solaire Mediterranean, like Made Grid, a big grid around the Mediterranean Sea where countries can import and export green electricity uh, using this smart grid. Uh, I think we have in a new scheme today and there is uh, also a point linked to environmental purpose. Climate security, we're talking about energy security but we have to talk about climate security also. Objective of the European Union are clear today to de reduce their the CO2 emissions. For that, they can develop with southern countries in the Mediterranean Sea of developing a renewable energy project for green electricity, not only for these countries, but also to export it for, to Europe. That's one of the solutions of decreasing CO2 emissions, but also giving more energy security. And one last point is to give more uh, projects in the south and more jobs in the south to stop immigration, to develop more these countries and to have a new way of developing uh, energy projects. One point is linked to uh, we have strong uh, partnership with different uh, African countries, mainly in uh, electrifying rural areas using solar PV system. Uh, the approach in Morocco, we have more than 60,000 households today electrified with solar home systems. Uh, you need to have the right approach to have to ensure a, fee for a, civil, a service in villages uh, far from big cities in Africa. And to have this approach, uh, why we have a success story in Morocco is that we had the right approach adapted to the population. And what we are doing with different uh, African partners today uh, is also training in this field, but also to develop the same approach, taking in account not only the technology, but also the financing and the maintenance in the villages. This approach now is a success and we have different uh, projects uh, with African, uh, uh, African countries. <laughs>